That was to make up for the fact I've been gone the last two weeks. It's Sunday, November 7th, 2010, and I'm Paul. How y'all doing? Sorry I was gone last week. Um, I've been really busy the last two weeks. Over the last two weeks, I've put up like six new videos on my main channel. That's a lot. And I made another video for a certain someone special. That, that's how I get the ladies, is those manly sound effects. Hmm, hello! And, and the fact I don't shave. Ooh, yeah. So earlier this week, I'm talking with a friend of mine, and she's eating one of those, you know, Little Debbie oatmeal cream pies. And it got me to thinking, um, what's the grossest thing you've ever found in your food? I mean, if you want, leave a comment, whatever, do a video response, yell at the wall, I don't care. Uh, it made me think, though, because I remember one time, I, I was probably 13 or 14, and I was eating one of those Little Debbie oatmeal cream pies, and I bit into it, and I bit into something hard, and I'm like, what the heck is that? And I uh, opened my mouth, and I pulled out this little mouse bone. I was like, ah. Oh. And after that, I could not eat Little Debbie oatmeal cream pies. I was like, oh my word, this is so freaking gross. Even to this day, I will not eat them, just because of the memory of that, and like, ew, I was eating this thing and I bit into a freaking mouse bone. Ugh. And, like, if it happened to me now, I would probably email the company, but that was back kind of in the pre-internet days. And I, I was like, what am I going to do, mail them? I'm not going to send them a letter, because what are they going to do? Say they're sorry, offer me more coupons for oatmeal cream pies? No, I don't want your cream pies that have mouse parts in them. I'll pass, thank you. So this week, um, I sold my dryer. It, I brought it up from Baton Rouge and had been in storage for a while. It's a good dryer, but I didn't have any use for it, so I sold it. And to my surprise, when I opened up the dryer, I found some stuff in it. I found a pair of socks. Yay! I found a blanket I was looking for. And I also, also found this awesome, awesome, ugly-ass lamp. I mean, check it out. Do you not want this? I will sell this to any one of you. Do you want to buy this ugly-ass lamp? Look, it's got all the joy of um, a brown shade, fake plastic beads. Nothing says class like uh, plastic beads on your lamp. And you know what? What's better than one ugly lamp? You guessed it two ugly lamps so right now you know if you offer me enough money or maybe if you even come to the, my house i will give you this that's right you can buy these from now all oh, these awesome lamps think about it you'll put them in your living room people will say hey where did you get two ugly awesome lamps and you'll say from paul rodenberg and they'll be like who the fuck is that and you'll be like shut up and enjoy my lamps you bitch and i'll be like wow this guy is rude uh vidmus asks why doesn't bird ever fly uh, he may eventually in an episode. There really hasn't been a point for him to yet. I thought about having him do it in Chain Gang Bang, but since he was tied to Cactus, it really didn't make much sense. Um, but I'm not going to officially say if he can fly or not, because I don't want to paint myself into a corner later on. So that's it for me. Um, feel free to check out my main YouTube channel. Got a lot of new content up over the last two weeks. You know, check it out. Share it with your friends. Please, please, please. I'm sick of living here. Come on. Help me make the big YouTube money so I can at least buy a place with fancier wood paneling.